Hey everyone! Thank you guys all so much for coming. I love Grand Rapids. It's so beautiful here. And um, thank you so much for getting my book, Hollywood. I see some of you with Life, Love, Beauty as well. Do you guys want to take a front of the line picture? Which will eventually just be those, like, oh, I'll try to get everybody in there. But you guys down? You want to do it? Okay, everyone, scoot close together. Scoot, 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 there you go. Hold up those books. We want to make sure that we see everyone's books. Anyway, so I'm doing, a, I guess, a Q&A. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns. <laughs> Complaints? Complaints? We could do that. My name is Jim, by the way. Hey, Jim, nice, nice to meet you. you. Am I going to break you, your hand? Do you no, have two no, no, hand no. braces? It's okay. just a stylish thing. Oh, okay. You know, because my hair doesn't do the cool thing yours does. Oh, well, so I got to make up for it somewhere. All oh, right. All right. Okay. So where do you want me to start here? Where, who, who else uh, has a question? So. So this person right here, I just got to tell you this because she's been very, very persistent. When I said we got 15 minutes, she was the one pulling out the timer and saying, no, we have 14 minutes, 39 seconds. So it's a real one right she's there. been waiting a little while, so I think I'm going to give it to her. Okay. Are you going to be appearing on the new Pretty Little Liars spin-off, The Perfectionist? Yeah, that's a question I get all the time. I have, I, I, I have no idea what's going on with that show at all. All I know is that Marlene King, who created Pretty Little Liars, is going to... She's a genius and she knows exactly what she's doing, but I have, I have no idea what's, what's going on with it, from my perspective. Yeah. I, and if I did know, I wouldn't be able to tell anybody because it's... <laughs> I was going to say, it's probably... It's, it's very secretive. Anyway, you, okay, right here. How did you and Brett Dyer become friends? <laughs> so uh, she's asking how uh, Brett Dyer and I became friends. If you guys know who, who Brett Dyer is, he's on Jane the Virgin. Uh, he's a really funny Canadian guy, and I love him a lot. Uh, and actually, fun fact, his girlfriend Haley uh, just is doing a movie right now with Cole Sprouse called uh, Five Feet Apart, which is going to come out in 2019, so look it up, it's pretty cool. And then uh, how I met Brett was we did a movie together called, it was originally called The Hazing Secret, but then it got turned into The Sorority Secret. Don't watch it. <laughs> Not great. But we shot it together in Canada, and um, the way we became friends was he would call my room and leave weird voicemails on my voicemail, and I was like, who is this person that keeps leaving voicemails? And it was him, and we've just been best friends ever since. Yeah. He's awesome. a great guy. And one over here. Um, Shay Mitchell, she reacted to herself. Uh, she reacted to her audition video for Pretty Little Liars. Did you react to yours as well? I did. I did react, but privately, and uh, <laughs> it was it was a lot less uh, emotions involved. I was more horrified than <laughs> because what's funny about. When I auditioned for the role of Tobias, when I went in, I originally auditioned for the role of Rhett Kingston, who was played amazingly by Julian Morris. But I can't do a British accent as well as a British actor. So when I went in, I was like, nailed it. And then I like walked out and I saw Julian Morris like sitting there in a suit with his like cap toe shoes. And I was like, oh, Julian Morris. Um, but then when I went in for Tobias, I had like, a, I had a knit cap on, like a beanie on. And uh, I watched the audition. I'm just like, how did this? How did? The, how do they? Why did they hire me for this? Because <laughs> it's so weird. Um, but there was something. I talked to Gail Pillsbury afterwards. There was something in it where she was able to see this character evolve. And, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, it was it was weird to watch it for sure. Because I felt like such a baby back then. You know? All right. I thought there was a question over here. Okay. Um, who was 
the nicest person you worked with on Pretty Little Liars? Well, everybody's really nice. I, I, I feel like we were all friends, and uh, it was comparable to doing summer camp with your friends, and except you were shooting a TV show. Um, but yeah, everybody was really nice. No one was really mean. You know? I, think, I think I'm like very, very close friends with all of my castmates. So, yeah. Anyone else over here? I'm going to come to you, so, because I saw you over there. Um, how do you take your nighttime picture so clearly without it getting all like green and stuff? Uh, that's a good question. So usually, uh, it depends on the camera. Now that technology has evolved so much, uh, if there's any, anybody in here that's photographers, do you guys, who, who, who in here is a photographer? Okay, so you guys know like ASA settings or ISO settings, it's a film speed setter. So I always try to keep my ISO settings lower and put my camera on a tripod and then do uh, either a, like a longer exposure. But some of the cameras today that have just incredible sensors on them, uh, you can kind of shoot like one, two, two fiftieth of a second with a high ISO and it looks beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's just about like matching the right gear with your vision, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be here in the middle of the crowd here. So I'm gonna try to mingle as much as possible, but you had a question. Hi. Hello. So what were your thoughts on the ending of Pretty Little Liars? Oh, I was, I was actually kind of, I was happy with it. I know that a lot of people had mixed feelings about it, but um, I'll tell you why I was happy with it. It felt like Marlene King had an opportunity to tie all of the loose ends, and she did something, I think, a little smarter than that, than tying the loose ends. She allowed and afforded the audience the opportunity to come to their own conclusions at the end. So, I know a lot of people were upset with the ending of Spencer and Toby, but, Spoby? But, but what ended up happening was actually nicer is because we all kind of are able to draw our own conclusion. Like, I have my own idea of what their ending is, but it also leaves it open. Like, who knows? Maybe, maybe, the, sh maybe the show would, like, do something else down the line that would explain everything. But, yeah. Very happy with it. I see someone with a Rick and Morty shirt in the back right there. Rick yeah. and Morty, yeah. Ooh. So sick. Season four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Morty. <laughs> All right, right over here. Are, are you working on another book right now? Sorry. Right. Oh, yes, I am actually. That's why I was in Grand Haven um, yesterday and walking around Grand Rapids. Uh, and I will be going, I know everybody's gonna, is thinking, go up to the, is it the UP, go up to UP and like take, I will, I'm gonna do, Michigan's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm shooting my third book right now, which is uh, Photography Across America. And uh, it's shot in a very similar style to Hollywood, but um, you know, fine art, portraiture, photographs, people, places, and atmospheres. Yeah. And that'll be out in probably 2020 or 2021. Okay. Over here. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that you can watch. What was your favorite TV show and movie that you ever acted in? Uh, favorite TV, well, if I say anything except Pretty Little Liars, I think the stage would be rushing me. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, no, I, I definitely really enjoyed that show. It, it grew with me and uh, I'm really happy with it. And uh, I took some time off acting afterwards because seven years on a TV show is long time to then I wanted to like kind of do my own stuff with photography for a little while but I'll get back into acting very soon and uh, but yeah that's that's been like my favorite project that I've worked on thus far and also a play I did a play in New York uh, called small engine repair that was really fun that was my favorite hi um, how did you get the idea of what pictures to take to put into your book Hollywood uh, how did I get the idea so originally, how old are you? I'm 15. Okay, so when I was about like 11, I wanted to shoot this book, but I was too scared because Hollywood's not like a very friendly place. If you have a camera and you're like, hey, excuse me, can I take your photo? And you're like, there's people that are just like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so it took a long time to be able to do that. And once I got to an age where I felt comfortable to do street photography like this, uh, 
it, the idea was that I wanted to show my, just who, who here has grown up in Michigan? Oh, okay. <laughs> so it'd be like, if you were, if you, you, know, you know your area very, very well, and you have a very specific point of view of your area, yet if people come from anywhere in the world and they come to Michigan, they're gonna see a, they're a very specific view of Michigan that, they, that maybe you would never, that they would never know unless you showed them yourself. So I, I had the idea of Hollywood has so many different ideas and people have different views of Hollywood because it's such a photographed and talked about place that I wanted to show my own unique point of view without being too um, like dictative of how to feel about it or look at it. How did you like Grand Haven when you visited yesterday? I thought it was beautiful. It's so so gorgeous. Uh, it was it was it felt like a little home away from home to be honest. It was like classic Americana. People were out on their stoops and barbecuing and like hanging out, playing volleyball on the beach, and it was really nice. It was a good feel good moment for me. I liked it. It was really great, beautiful. Um, what's your favorite part of Hollywood? My favorite part of Hollywood would probably be uh, well. There's a lot of like little nooks and crannies in Hollywood that a lot of people don't know about. Um, if you're like a tourist, you usually go right to Hollywood Boulevard, but I'm really, I'm interested in more of the, uh, like, I guess it's, it would be considered uh, inner city Hollywood. So, like where there's like parks and, and beautiful places that a lot of people don't know about. There's a place called Beachwood Canyon that's really beautiful that you're able to see the Hollywood sign and it's gorgeous, you know. You get sweeping views all over from the valley and then towards the ocean. It's really cool. Where's your favorite place to travel? Traveling wise, uh, so far, so far out of all of my book tours, I've really, really enjoyed Michigan uh, because it has. It's it's true. It's beautiful and amazing, and um, it's been really fun. Uh, but um, in the world, I would say France is really beautiful. If you guys have a chance to go to France, go to France. Um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much keep it there. Michigan. Um, what was your favorite season of Pretty Little Liars to film? Probably, the, you know, they all have like different places in my heart, but probably the, uh, probably the first season was like so fun because I was so scared all the time. <laughs> I was like really like afraid, you know, because we didn't know, none of us knew what was really going to happen or what was going on, and it was really fun, yeah. It's cool. Hey, nice to see you again. I, mean, I saw you guys, I saw them in Grand Haven yesterday. We watched the, the it's like a sprinkler light show. Musical fountain. Musical fountain. It looks like a sprinkler light show. What am I looking for? It is. It's great. It's great. It also honestly looks like some, no offense, but it looks like someone's dad got a hold of like their backyard and was like, honey, just leave it alone. I want to make it great. And she's like, dude, why do we need all these sprinklers? And now you're putting lights on them? It look, but it's fun. It was fun. They, were, they had Star Wars music and stuff. Sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. Where was your favorite place to take photos so far? In the world? Yeah. Probably Hawaii, um, even though Hawaii has like, no place in my photojournalism right now. I know that one day I'll use those photos, but it was just so so peaceful and wonderful, and uh, and it's it's very photogenic in every way, shape, and form because it's very consistent. So yeah, we're all in Hawaii. We're just shooting. Sorry, that's my question. Kauai, Kauai. So Kauai. Kauai. Okay. Island. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, Kapa'a is the name of the place that I like, really love. It's very photogenic. Do you have a chance? Go there and check it out. Were you happy about Scobie's ending? Yeah, so like I said earlier, like I, I was I was happy with it. I was, I was content with the way it ended because it allowed my own imagination to take over for the ending. So I have like a very specific view of how it's ended right now. As all of you probably do as well. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm bad at microphones. Okay, um, this is a little bit cheesy, but at this current point in your life, do you feel like there's anything like mentally, physically, emotionally that you're working on within yourself? Uh, that's a very really, like serious question. I feel like I'm in therapy. Uh, 
You know, I think that's funny uh, that you brought that up. I mean, there's there's always something that you can better yourself with and improve upon. And uh, I feel like, um, I don't know if I'm like, did you say it's a challenge or like str struggling with? I didn't hear what the Not word. necessarily struggling, but okay. just working on. Working like, on. It can be something that you've already learned, but it's just something you're trying to improve. Yeah, I think I'm always trying to uh, improve my quality of present, being present, presence, uh, because so often we all go to our phones. I, I, okay, fun fact, I'm like completely addicted to my cell phone to the point of where like I just touched my pocket, it wasn't there, it's on the chair, and then my heart just drops. I almost feel like that. So I have this, I got an app, and I know Apple's doing, being very proactive about dealing with cell phone addiction right now, but I, the other day I was on my phone for eight hours, and I was like, how is it even possible? I need to not be on my phone. So I've been uh, putting my phone down, and like even this morning, uh, the, one, of, one of the people that's ran the event um, was trying to call me, but like, I just don't have my phone on me as much anymore, because I feel like there's, there's no, reason to be on your phone too much. The reality is that we miss around us, our friends, our family, and uh, I've just been working on that and not and being like, uh, not being a passenger to my life, but rather like being in my life. That just got really deep. <laughs> I'm thinking about it right now. Do you think you are the biggest phobie shipper? Um... I've seen bigger Spoby shippers before, um, but uh, I, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, yeah, I think I am. I'm, I'm a big shipper of Spoby. Do you think you're a bigger Spoby shipper than me? Yes. How would one determine whom's is bigger at, at shipping Spoby than the other? Is there a formula, a mathematical equation that we can do? Is there some sort of a contest? I have Spencer and Toby equals Phoebe on my arm. Is it tattooed like me? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I really do love that ship. Um, I, did, I did love it. It was really fun. Uh, and I learned a lot from that ship as well. If that it makes any... If that makes, you're probably a bigger swimmy shipper than I am. Yeah. Hi, um... Hi. I'm short, so... No, no, it's good. Um, is there a recurring, like, symbol or motif that you find in your life? Recurring symbol or motif? Uh... <laughs> I definitely think we're living in a simulation. But, uh... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, but really, I, uh... Just because I listen to Elon Musk, too many Elon Musk interviews in the middle of the night on YouTube, uh, hence my cell phone addiction. Um, no, I think the re recurring motif is, I, I, do, I do follow my first book's motif, which is life, love, and beauty. It's life, uh, the, uh, you know, acknowledging the cyclical return of life and loss of it in your life and how it affects you. So when babies are born and people die, how it affects you love and uh, how we all want to be loved and accepted and beauty and our perception of beauty and what we find beautiful sometimes is different than what other people do but it comforts us and I try and keep all that motif in my life all the time and it does reoccur constantly. All right I'm making my way over here to the relationship goals. Shirt relationship goals says vintage. relationship goals Spooby. Vintage Spooby t-shirts. That's, everyone should get them. So, well, you really can't. I mean, yeah, you can't even took it down. Vintage. But, um, my question is, we're actually from Grand Haven, so what is your favorite, what was your favorite place to visit in Grand Haven? I like the, I know this is weird, but the actual pier was so calm and nice. I know, it is under construction, but it's still beautiful construction. I mean, um, but yeah, the, the, pier, the pier is really beautiful, and walking from the pier back into town on that little boardwalk is so calming. I really felt calm. I was like drinking an herbal tea, <laughs> like as I walked. Uh, it was very, very calm. It was beautiful. And the sunset lasts too long. It's, uh, 
I was told, okay, yesterday I was told it would be, the sun would be setting at 9, and then I was like, uh, it's 10 o'clock, and the sun's still, like, it's blue outside. Um, I guess that's, someone told me that it was because it was on the, it's on the edge of the time zones. That's really cool. So you can go into Lake Michigan and actually your, your phone will keep switching on you. Oh, that's so cool. That's great, yeah. I love it. Also, the bathymetry of Lake Michigan is crazy too, how deep it is. I had no idea. People were jumping off of the pier on the other side, not on the side that'll suck you out to the, to the ocean, to the lake. It feels like the ocean. Um, but how, it's so deep in there, it's crazy. Yeah. All right, we only got time for one more question because we want to make sure that you have plenty of time to sign all these books. Absolutely. If you're anything like me, your hand gets a little cramped after a while. You've been very patient. Do you have the best question worked up? No, not really. <laughs> Confidence, okay, let's go. Who's your favorite character in Rick and Morty? Oh, that is the best question. <laughs> I, that's pretty good. I, I really, okay, so I really love Meeseeks. In it because it's it's such a uh, it's kind of a dichotomy of like humanity. I really enjoy that the, it's, it lives only to to please one element and then it disappears. But if it doesn't complete that element, it, it suffers. And it's such a a great and pickle Rick, pickle Rick, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just love that they created a character that that hates its existence. <laughs> like, only if it's able to complete its uh, task is it like fulfilled. It's really great. Um, but yeah, and also of course Rick Sanchez is, is amazing and Morty is great. Yeah. So I have something that I was told to give to you. Oh yes, yeah, somebody's birthday is today. That's what I heard. Whose birthday is it? I think it's the one that's in shock. Is it, your, is it your 21st birthday today? Not yet. Oh. 20th. 16? <laughs> it's your 19th birthday. It's your 18th birthday. Happy 18th birthday! How are you going to catch Pokemon without your phone? That's you know, my motto. So, so, orderly fashion, please. I'm sure we would appreciate that, but please uh, make your way up uh, one at a time and we'll get a chance for you to take pictures as well. You're all settled. Good. Do you, do, would you like a, this? Okay. If you guys want to take photos, the best way to do it is if you just turn all the way around and I'll just be behind you like, yeah, and then you, just, you can either take a selfie or, yeah. But yeah, as long as you're there, it just turn around, because otherwise you do this like awkward lean thing and then you'll, you'll be bummed about it. Okay. Anyway, I love you. Thank you guys all so much for coming to the Hollywood Book Tour, and uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs>